6.30, so we'll go ahead and get started. Please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all. You may be seated. So, Mrs. Vance, if you want to uh, take care of recognition, uh, secretaries and support staff. Absolutely. Um, everybody has shared what a great start to this school year we have had. And if I had solid wood, I'd knock on it so it's not to to jinx us or change that flow. But there are so many that we want to recognize. And in an effort to make sure that I don't overlook anybody, I would like to read the list, the comprehensive list that um, the principal sent. And if you are here in the room tonight, if you would please stand so that we could give you the recognition that you deserve for all of the help that you provided to launch this school year. I know that I would really like to do that and I am sure the board would as well. So, um, Veronica Mendez, Kayla Buckner, Aubrey Franklin, Emily Brown, Kristen Moore, Tolly and Damien Pertlebaugh. Thank you. Are they both here? No, they're working at the middle school right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And I promise them if you would like to stay for the meeting, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> if you want to leave, now is that time that I told you that you could uh, leave and. Uh, <laughs> 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 a sincere thing. questions or concerns? Oh, we'll just do them all together. How about that? Okay. Yes. And then we'll move on to the next one. Approval of certification from the July 25th executive meeting. That look good to everyone? Okay. Approval of minutes from the July 25th regular board meeting. I think that was on, goes on record as one of our shortest board meetings right there. 
And then we have uh, approval of the minutes from the August 6th regular meeting. And approval of the minutes from the August 6th, 2024 study session. If there are no questions or concerns, I would entertain a motion that we approve the minutes as read. So, thank you, Jenny. <laughs> All those in favor, raise your right hand. Motion carries six to zero. Next, we have the fund report and the financial report. Did anybody get a chance to look through these? Questions? <laughs> Thank you for the vocal. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. And uh, do we need, is that, are those consent as well, or can, do we have to read them all? Thank you. All right. I don't know why I don't remember this from month to month. But. Uh, secondly, the approval of the claims totaling $1,961,647.37. Questions about that? Moving on. Approval of the payrolls totaling $810,441.68. Concerned? If there are no concerns, I'd appreciate uh, if anyone would like to make a motion. So, what are we moving here? Approve the payrolls and claims as per Well, we'll approve like half of one and a quarter of the other. Approve <laughs> 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 of all the funds before. I'll approve my every other line. Every other line. And the dish ran away with the spoon. We're getting way out of control here, I'm telling you. <laughs> approve I move of that we uh, accept the financial report. Thank you. All those in favor, please raise your hand. Motion carries six to zero. Action items. Approval of the 2025-2026 school calendar. Anything you want to share, Mrs. Ants? I'd like to begin by thanking Kristen Horn and Greg Marks. They put a great deal of time into it behind the scenes to build um, the foundation of the calendar. Um, I want to thank RCTA for their voice and their input and then a great discussion at our study session around this. And I believe that we have captured, I know that we can't take everybody's suggestions, but I think that we've captured it as best we can and made those compromises where we could. I made sure to count the dates. Yes. Yes. We're they do okay. We're good. Yeah. All right. Um, any questions about the calendar? Any comments from the gallery? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. That's right. uh, kids are welcome. Don't. You know. <laughs> I got a whole bunch. I got a whole bunch of grandkids, and everybody's got families, so children are. They don't bother us. It's our business. Um, so if any of you uh, would like to make a motion that we approve the 2025-2026 school calendar. So moved. Thank you, Mark. Second. Thank you, Jenny. All those in favor, raise your right hand. Motion carries six to zero. Next, we have the approval of the memorandum of understanding for the corporation SRO. So I want to continue to thank uh, the Fulton County Sheriff's Department for their continued help with providing SRO services. The only uh, notable change within this document would be the um, pay for the SRO, and that change um, is at $70,000 for this coming school year. Okay. Any questions? Questions from the gallery? If not, I'll entertain a motion that we approve the MOU for the Corporation SRO. So moved. Thank you, Casey. Second. Thank you, Ethan. Raise your right hand, please. In favor? I guess. <laughs> okay, motion carries six to zero. What'd you say, Mark? <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> um, approval of the new. RCSC co-curricular and extracurricular charter wrestling. Should be girls wrestling. Right? Girls wrestling. Girls correct. wrestling. Yes. So the IHSAA has um, adopted two new sports for the school year: girls wrestling and uh, boys volleyball. At this time, this is a proposal. I know.
know that we've had a very good, uh, strong basis for a girls wrestling team, and this is the request to make that an official team moving forward, which would be recognized by the IHSAA and participate in those tournaments. Questions or concerns? I know we had a discussion at our study session, and thank you that Mr. Gard and his crew filled out this form to clarify, but just making sure I'm reading it correctly. It appears that it's modeled after um, cross country or swim where there is one head coach for both boys and girls wrestling. And so financially, this <coughs> does not have a great impact on the, it's not another head coach for girls wrestling. And that's the way I understand the document to read as well. Okay. Just make sure we're all on the same. Yep. Okay. Any questions? Thank you, Jenny, for that. If not, I would uh, accept a motion that we approve the new uh, co-curricular extracurricular charter for girls wrestling. So moved. Thank you, Jenny. Second. Thank you, Casey. All those in favor, raise your right hand. Motion carries six to zero. Moving on, approval of the disposal of surplus items from the maintenance department. So I think this document is becoming a live document. I want to thank uh, Doug Bauer and his crew for continually working on this. I know Cassie's most excited about getting the things out of her basement and her building. Um, but please know that we will continue to work on this with the start of school year. We kind of um, got stymied and continuing forward, but what you see there is what we are proposing for those particular items, and then we will continue to update you as we move forward and are able to um, inventory those and decide what to do with them. If you run out of things to sort, Doug, I have a whole basement that needs some work. <laughs> I will send down Jervis over there and I'm free. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Clear yeah, you're out. Because <laughs> he doesn't like to save anything. Yeah, he's oh. done a great job with this list. Well, I had a friend tell me once, only Jesus saves. The rest of us need to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If we would... Uh, 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 somebody like to make a motion that we approve the disposal of the surplus items from the maintenance department. Thank you, Casey. Second. I'll give you one, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> All those in favor, raise your right hand. Motion carries six to zero. We have uh, <clears throat> three different field trips for the uh, FFA, first of all, we have an approval of an overnight field trip to Southern Indiana for FFA soils judging. And I did look into that, make sure it's not during school hours. So uh, <laughs> that's a good thing. So, um, and uh, I know that uh, Mr. Pearson does a nice job of uh, keeping things under control when these kids get out on their own. Um, any questions from anybody for uh, item five? Wow. No, we can't. They're action items. We have to do one at a time. <clears throat> All those, then, uh, if someone would like to make a motion, we move forward. So moved. Thank you, Ethan. Second. And Casey. All those in favor, raise your right hand. Motion carries six to zero. The second is approval of an overnight field trip to the National FFA Convention in Indianapolis. Um, on October 23rd, looks like it's uh, yeah. Also, just an excellent learning opportunity for our kids. They every they they grow from that so much from that program. So, any questions or concerns from the board? Anything from the peanut gallery? As we call it. <laughs> All right. All those. Uh, I accept a motion at this time. Tell me, Casey. Second. Mark. All those in favor? Motion carries six to zero. Number seven, approval of the overnight field trip to FFA forestry judging at Purdue in West Lafayette. And that is usually, that's usually on a Saturday. Um, wow. Questions or concerns about the forestry? I uh, would uh, entertain a motion that we approve as <coughs> written. So moved. Thank you, Jenny. Second. And Casey. All those in favor? Wow. Motion carries six to zero. Wow. 
The second reading of policies, 5136 and 5200. Since it's the second reading, we've all had more than enough time to look at them. Are there any questions? Okay, we'll move uh, forward with the motion, please. We're just reading. Just reading. Just oh, for, go down. I come back. Okay, and then we have the first reading of policy 3220.01. And I believe that's the one about the cell phone policy. No, this is the tag grant policy. Oh, gosh, the I gotta read them. But if I may, I wanna lean on uh, Mrs. Adley for just a moment. If we could waive the readings and adopt tonight the state, uh, this is the tag policy that we adopt every year that we work with the teachers on. They outline very specific stipulations. There are no changes I have communicated with Mrs. Shelley in regards to this, and we're in agreement that no changes need to be made. The state says that the board has to have this adopted and uploaded um, in September, and I'm afraid that with the timeline, we may not be able to get three readings in. So if it's possible to waive those, um, since the policy itself is not changing, I know that I would appreciate it, and I'm sure the teachers would as well. Why do you have a new policy then that's not changing? Because it's new. The state says that we have to readapt the policy every year. Oh, I was thinking there was a resolution every year. Oh, and we, as superintendents, we have asked the state. It make sense? We've yeah. asked the state to discontinue that because it doesn't change, and as long as it's a policy and it's been approved, um, but they say because they're releasing funds to a special funds, we have to make sure we recognize the stipulations and follow those. And Mrs. Asley has knocked her head that we may go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do? Do we need a motion to suspend, or to do all three readings tonight, or to suspend the three readings? We need a motion to go ahead and approve on the first reading. On the first reading. And then do we do a second and a third after that? <laughs> As long as everybody's in agreement to approve on the first reading, you're... I got you. Approve on the first reading. I'm with you. Okay. All right. I move that. <laughs> <laughs> and I second that. <laughs> All right. All those in favor, raise your right hand. The motion carries six to zero. Lucky us. Okay. Uh, next, we have our donations. We have our donations. Any updates since, you know, noon? Okay, good. Uh, first of all, we have, wait, that's the education fund. That's no, not going to help me with that. <laughs> Columbia Elementary, uh, an unknown amount, donation of scissors and crayons. Was that one crayon? Just the one. Yes. <laughs> what yes. Okay. Joy Shrove uh, for Bel Pedio's classroom of supplies. What a lovely thing. Columbia Elementary, $521.50 library resource printed materials from the Jennifer Kingery Overmeyer Memorial Fund distribution 2024. Real Elementary, $521.50, library resources, printed material from the Jennifer Kingery Overmeyer Memorial Fund Distribution 2024. We thank that Overmeyer family for that. <coughs> RMS, $50 for PBIS from Lori Shane's retirement. RHS, $800 for Rochester Volleyball Clinic Club from the Optimist Club of Rochester. RHS, $600, Artist of the Month, 10 kits of supplies uh, from Julie Sutton. RCSC, $3,500, opening day shirts for the corporation, Smith, Sawyer, and Smith of Rochester. We're grateful for that support as well. RCSC, $1,000, back to school supplies donated by Dollar Tree of Rochester. And RCSC Unknown Challenge Coins for Recognition, Everwise Credit Union, Rochester and South Bend. Uh, as, as always, every month we are beyond blessed with the uh, donations that we are given from our community. So we are 
thankful for all of those. At this time, I would accept a motion that we approve the donations as read. So moved. Thank you, Jenny. Second. And Casey, all those in favor, raise your hand. Motion carried six to zero. Personnel report. RMS, Paul Leisure, Special Education Instructional Assistant, hourly rate $14. RHS, Hannah Noel, Instructional Assistant working with eighth grade, hourly rate $14. Corporation recommendations, Cal Stone, RCSC, Athletic Director, annual salary of $67,000. RHS Athletic Recommendations, Amy Williams, volunteer for RHS Soccer Program, Lane Backus, volunteer for RHS Soccer Program, Janet Shally, Assistant RHS Boys Tennis Coach, with a stipend of $1,170. The other two, pardon me, Amy Williams and Lane Backus are volunteers. Food Service, Deborah Early, Food Service Assistant Sub, hourly rate $13. FMLA, Tabitha Small, beginning 829-24 through 925-24. Questions or concerns about that? If not, I would accept a motion that we approve the personnel report as read. So moved. Thank you, Mark. Second. And Casey. All those in favor, raise your right hand. Motion carries six to zero. Congratulations. <laughs> and if, if I, if you would please, would you introduce yourself and your family and just tell us a little oh, bit? Oh, come on up here, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming on up. <laughs> I can if you want me to. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. I'm Cal Stone, um, and then this is my wife, Brooke, and our daughter, Sayla, and then we have our first son on the way here at the end of September. So we are excited to get up here and get started. Very good. Welcome to Rochester. And congratulations. Thank you. Moving on. Hey, superintendent business. We'll go through and uh, give our directors and principals reports. So, uh, Mr. Snyder, if you would like to begin, please. I'm going to go ahead and start with Bill. Um, Luke sent me some of his notes and uh, picture days on Thursday. They had a successful fire drill on August 7th, Wednesday, um, last week and this week's PD has been devoted to Alice training with teachers. Teachers will be conducting drill conversations with their kids next week and email will be sent to the parents per our normal procedures for that. Um, Mrs. Weaver has started her choir club and Mrs. Walkman will be starting her running club next week. And uh, Luke just said the kids and staff are off to a really good start. So, um, do you have any questions for Luke through me? <laughs> uh, for Columbia, um, we mentioned it a little bit earlier with Belpedo's, Belpedio's classroom. If you're not aware of that, um, it's uh, just a um, shelf that we have uh, dedicated to Mrs. Belpedio that um, we have extra school supplies and things. Uh, for students that they can just come and take um, as needed and um, we have some older kids supplies there as well just because we have before care and after care there and the kids always walk past it um, so that's just in honor of her if uh, any of you attended her funeral you know that she didn't want flowers or um, things like that so everybody contributed backpacks and there was hundreds of backpacks at her service and um, all of those were donated to the schools, all the schools in the area. Um, so this is just a little, a little fitting way to, uh, to help uh, remember her. Open House and Resource Fair was a success. Um, the re Resource Fair turned out really well. We had um, almost 20 different community um, agencies or places uh, at our community or at our, our fair. Uh, very well attended, a lot of parents went through there. Somebody brought popcorn, so that really brought them in because um, they can smell that. But it was really good, a lot of good conversations going on. I talked to some of the people afterwards and they really felt like um, and it, was, it was beneficial to them. So uh, Brenda McLean, I have to thank her for uh, helping head that up and, and really put that together for us. Uh, we also had a very successful developmental pre-K open house 
and uh, they did a great job of doing that. Hannah Moore has started out as her first year in that program, uh, and she's doing great. School bus safety uh, was a big focus for us uh, early on, and we had a visit by Buster the bus. If you didn't see him online, um, he, it's this bus that's a robot, and it helps teach uh, bus safety. The kids absolutely loved it. Um, Kevin and I loved it, and uh, we had a lot of fun playing with it. And I think the parents even enjoyed it in the car line. I don't know, you can ask. If it was. I heard it got a reluctant person out of the truck one day. So, you know, that, that's a win in my book. <laughs> uh, we are in the middle of our uh, beginning of the year testing uh, for all of our students uh, for our reading and our math. Uh, we completed our hearing screenings last week. Um, we had a new sandbox donated to us. That'll be on next month's donations, and we'll recognize those people then. But it's a big deal for our uh, pre-K um, playground. And our daycare has been getting uh, large supplies of um, items in for the daycare through the child daycare grant that uh, we were awarded. We finally, the state finally got all of the paperwork and stuff completed, and now we're actually able to utilize uh, and benefit from that grant. So we're getting pallets full of new um, toys, supplies, uh, things we're stocking up on to make sure that our daycare is in good shape for uh, the long haul. And then mentioned the Overmeyer Fund, uh, we really appreciate that donation that helps us buy books uh, for our schools. Pictures on Thursday, Book Fair and Family Night in September, and McClure's first grade will be traveling there in early September. I, I saw the, on social media the daycare, I think it was, they called it a cabana or whatever. I don't know that yeah. was, but that was nice. That came on an, its own pallet. That thing is <laughs> bigger than it looks. It was, oh, like, held, it held like four or five kids in there. That, yes. Yeah. Like, you're going to need a staff one next. I know. <laughs> I know. The bar is just going to get beyond <laughs> reach. We'll all, we'll all be having lunch on the daycare plan. <laughs> <laughs> if you need me, that's where I'll be. Mrs. Murphy? A lot more of the same. Uh, we you know went through our riddle to middle, our first day PBIS day. We did the hearing screenings, the fire drills, the picture days, NJHS inductions, and open house was last week. We've done all of our fall call out meetings for athletics, parent meetings, um, and first practices minus one. I think we have one more coming up. We have started our fifth grade choir. That's up and going and doing well. Fifth grade band is still going through some um, band fittings and things like that, and hopefully next week they'll be able to start as well. We have a back to school dance this Friday. The kids are excited about that. And our first home athletic events are next week as well. Mr. Basham got to learn what a full moon means at the middle school. <laughs> <laughs> that was exciting. Maybe I think I'm serious. I know. <laughs> Lots of conversation about that today. <laughs> And then we're also doing Penny Wars for PBIS next week, so kids are excited about that. Any questions? Any questions? Was Jan maybe in the dunk tank? I wanted someone to bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Mrs. Vance. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <look at> that. <laughs> My son was one that dunked her last year. <laughs> it's for the kids. That's right. <laughs> Great question. <laughs> You know, Ethan does a lot of swimming. He might. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> Around water a lot. <laughs> First thing, I want to thank Mr. Martins for his time and effort in our search for the next uh, Rochester Community School Corporation Athletic Director and the other administration and coaches that help us with that. Um, everybody's assistant, Mr. Van Meter and I, yeah. and uh, the Atkinson girls and the Haas girls. I um, met Mr. Stone and we took him on a tour before the board meeting. Um, they got out of their car to change the child's diaper and our children swarmed them. <laughs> Welcome to the chaos of this. The RHS administration kids, so they're going to fit right in. Um, all of our fall sports are underway. Uh, fall play reveal happened. Uh, Mrs. Allen does a great job putting out videos to get students to guess that. It is Alice in the Wonderland. Uh, not tryouts, it's not sports. Auditions are Wednesday and Thursday, right after school, so we're excited to get that uh, cast uh, set up. Um, we've made picture day for sports and the students. We made it through that, so now we're back to educating and coaching. Uh, the horticulture class has the mum cell that's happening right now. 
Uh, we were excited. We got an email from the college board in regards to uh, 14 students being recognized for their academic achievements. And um, that's good news through our guidance department. Uh, Coach Thomas and his uh, golfers broke a school record. And sports passes are on sale right now at the high school, $10 for students. And I do not remember the amount for the other ones, but the key is we're trying to get students to get to those events. Um, coming up, we have a blood drive in September, and there's a tailgate party on Friday before the first home football game. It is youth football night, youth cheer night. So we're going all out. We're going to have a huge crowd for the first Friday night. We're excited. I think we've got a couple food trucks coming to try and entertain some of the kiddos as they are there to spend all their parents' money. <laughs> so uh, welcome, Mr. Stone. You saw what the RHS administration's all about right away. So, <laughs> and your assistant's sitting right next to you. He's <laughs> Any questions? Thank you for all your support as we've worked through that. I just had one. I'm sorry. Yeah. I heard on the radio that the state licked the graduation requirements that are uh, so they have it open for public comment. Uh, last spring they put out some stuff that was going to totally change them. Right. Then here, I think it was the middle of last week, they sent out the updated document after the first round of public comment, which looks very similar to our current document. So, but they do have some new seals and ideas that they're going to put on the diplomas. Um, my guidance department's out in front of that. There's a computer science requirement and a couple other requirements that we're already meeting for like some of our eighth graders and we're already doing and we're kind of ahead of that game. So I appreciate all their hard work and due diligence. And uh, once it's finalized, we'll dive into it real deep. Right now we're just dabbling because it changes after every public comment, so. I wasn't sure what stage it was in. I just heard like a quick blip on the radio where they were talking about not doing the GPS and then moving back. However, GPS will stay there. The core 40 is kind of going on. I, I don't know. How they word it. When they finalize it. The wording isn't what we focus on. I guess we focus on what you have to have. Right. But it's still going to give us some wiggle room. And we can actually start that with next year's graduates. But it doesn't officially start until our current eighth graders become graduates. But we can start to utilize it to our benefit. And we got some kids that we've already pinpointed. That <coughs> it becomes official in December, the end of December. So, okay. yeah, Thank I got a webinar next week. I should know a lot more about it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Shane Well, I think we had um, one of the largest move-in um, to the start of school that I can remember in years, and that's why I had um, Kayla and Aubrey come and tonight and. Um, <laughs> And the others that help get get stuff around, it's a lot, um, especially whenever we're dealing with school corporations that don't start until mid-August or states that surround us that don't start until after Labor Day. And you're trying to get someone to answer at central office so you can get an IEP and go from there. So um, we're off to a good start. Down a couple of IAs, but we'll get there. Um, I, I the programs that I'm over, I can't do without the help of the four buildings, and I appreciate them, and I'll <coughs> save you in helping those teachers and myself get through things. I know Megan and I really appreciate that. Um, flipping into ELL, we were able to get another um, IA, and she is a translator also. Um, we do have our first annual um, ELL Family Information Night, and that is September 9th coming up. That'll be in this building for an hour. So, jump on that. Yes, I am. Yes. Six thirty to seven thirty. Thank you, Mr. Reinhold. Well, all, nothing much in transportation. The smoothest start ever. Uh, what I can remember. Uh, the only thing coming up is tomorrow we got our annual fall <laughs> bus evacuation from the state mandated. And it's all good there. That's all I got. <laughs> Mr. Reynolds, and I know that in the end, you asked for my comments, and I would just say that um, it's very violations so far this year and um, they continue we had one after 
for the 24-25 school year. So I'm in the process of working on that. Direct certifications and free and reduced forms are finishing being done so that way we can match up as much within a household as possible. Um, our AFR was supposed to open this month, but we're looking at another 30 to 60 days before that comes about. And then we'll run directly into um, verification of those applications that came in. Within the next week, we're sending out notifications to household that that 30-day carryover status from last year, that they'll either have to reapply or supply a new direct certification number for that. And last August, we started participating in the local farm to school. To date, we've received about $50,000 in grants for um, produce. Um, there is also fresh hamburger meat that's coming in. The high school has got pork shoulder in that they are processing to send across the district to do our own um, pulled pork or, or just pork on the side. Um, we just got a drop in the district for some yellow watermelon, so it'll be interesting because there's a lot of them going yellow. So I, it'd be nice to see how the kids are gonna react to see yellow versus red. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? I'm sorry, it's the annual financial review for the food service department. Any more questions? No? Okay, thank you. We're just uh, continuing our daily functions and then uh, hopefully we're getting up to full staff. We just hired one, but well, we just had one start today at middle school. Uh, we've got one going through the background check. And then high school staff, we're down one, but we've got Two interviews scheduled so hopefully we'll be up to full staff here very shortly thank you are just doing a phenomenal job. We've had a great, successful start. Um, Luke has shared enrollments up. Um, looks very promising for this year, and that is a testament to everybody here in this room and uh, those who left earlier. And, and the welcome. When's count day? <coughs> count day is October. It's been pushed back to October. October 3rd? It's early October. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, early October. <laughs> I just put third to the seventh, maybe yeah. we could just plan I'll get a specific date. <laughs> <laughs> You're so used to the September day, yeah. now they've moved it to October. So we have just yes. from a week ago. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's all I have. Anything Welcome else? Board. We're looking forward to working with you. Thank you. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Anything else for the good of the group? With that, we are adjourned. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great evening.